Hello everybody. It's me, Blue Sky, here upstate New York, walking on the path, walking on the trail. And uh, I got my Frenchie here. Frenchie, you wanna say hello? And we're taking a walk. She just mind her own business. But uh, I just came to uh, talk to you guys because I was talking to others about water because some people had questions about the last video where it was, what if I can't drink water? I mean, you tell me water is important, but what if I can't drink it? Uh, what if I can't palate it? I don't like the taste of it. Um, you're telling me about um, doing different temperatures and finding what kind of temperature or even brands because you know certain brands taste funny, taste different. Yeah, I should say funny. Um, certain brands taste different. Um, so the whole fact that if you're that person, there's other ways to get water. Um, we were sold on water. Um, we're like the only country pretty much that carries water with us everywhere we go and gotta have the bottled water and then we gotta have some certain specific bottled water and you know it just gets very technical and for people who ain't got time for that and got time for the research um then water is just water everywhere so don't feel like you have to rush out and carry loads of water with you and bottles of water with you especially for those who can't drink it anyway and you just skip over videos like drink water you're like yeah I done tried and done it all. I'm done it all, sorry. But uh, the best thing to do in that situation is to go do what other people do around the world that don't have access to water, but somehow they seem to survive. Imagine that. Hmm. And we think we know it all, right? So you want to look into foods that are high content in water and maybe in health class, in school, middle school, or in high school or in college, you kind of fell asleep at this. But most of that is your fruits and your vegetables. That is high content and water. Water is water. However you get it in, you get it in. It's the same exact, the same exact, the same exact thing as water coming up the tap, your four dollar water there's even ten dollar water believe it or not depending on where you go especially when you go to fairs right they sell dollar water for ten for ten dollars and you gotta laugh at that but it's the marketing of it all so don't feel bad frenchy don't feel bad that you can't drink water behave yourself he saw a nice uh a sheet wants to run up there with the young lady who just passed us. I know, I understand. <laughs> so, oh, you, you wanna see her a little? Let me show you, hold on a second. She's seven months, um, going well, on eight months. She's a red nose pit bull. So, she's, she's a trip. Uh, hold on one second, let me put a leash on her. So, regular fruits and vegetables is um the best way to go with getting the water in ouch with getting the water in um so celery if you want to grab your celery sticks and munch on those during the day that is wonderful um any type of carrots um watercress is very lovely uh, anything that you can think of just walk in the produce section um whether it's at the farmer's market because the farmer market is really the best place to go to get the fresh because they just basically just pulled it out of the ground, washed it, and is serving it up to you within that same day versus it being, you know, shipped, sometimes picked early, you know, so it can last through the shipping process. Um, so you're not getting that high content, high nutrients of water and plus all the vitamins that are naturally in them. 
So if you can make it to a farmer's market in your neighborhood, and in 2018, they're pretty much everywhere. And if you don't have one in your community, then um, maybe if that's something that's important to you, or you know somebody who who was passionate about that, maybe you should encourage them um, to start that that passion of getting a, a community garden or something going on where you can just pick it from the ground and put it in your mouth and your body can thank you for it and your baby's going to thank you for it for doing that. And um, I don't know if people know, but even if you on certain income brackets um, and you have certain subsidies in your communities, check because a lot of the community subsidy programs um, or government programs um, just check it out. Um, they have something where it will allot you, you know, a certain amount of produce for X amount of dollars, or you might get it discounted. But um, definitely inquire. Just don't sit there and think the grocery store is the only way to go to get your food. Because like I said, it's come a long way. And now in 2018, you know, uh, they're just popping up everywhere. So do the research, definitely. And then of course, last but not least, you can grow your own. So if you have that thumb or you don't have that thumb, I, I'm learning. To be honest, I'm really learning because I just be overwatering it with care. I'd be like, is it dry? Is it not dry? You know, and I'm the type that don't, I don't want to go buy the, the um, water measurer or anything like that. I just want to go based off of, you know, emotions and what I feel it, think it needs. But maybe I need to get those tools because they haven't worked. They work for so much long and then it's like, oh, you know, and then they just flop over and I try to revive them and it's like, oh. but I'm getting really good now. I'm getting better now. So um, once again, uh, this is Blue Sky just coming to you from upstate New York just to answer a question of what if I can't drink water and all of it tastes like crap? Then go to your local farmer's market and hook yourself up with some fruits and vegetables. Have a good day. Bye-bye.